Pai is one of the most popular travel destinations in the whole of Thailand. It's on almost everyone's itinerary. So in this video, I'm gonna show you the best things to do, the best places to eat, and a couple of unique experiences. So if you're thinking of traveling to Pai, you don't wanna miss this video. Let's do it. Okay guys, I have come to Yunlai viewpoint, which sits in the hills just above the Santichon Chinese village. It is a very, very nice place here. You've got relaxing and peaceful Chinese music playing in the background, which gives a really nice atmosphere. And you have the most incredible views over the valley. But we came for sunrise and it's about 6.45 right now. And we're a bit clouded out, which gives a really beautiful view in my opinion with the clouds and the mist in the valley but we'll hang around and see if the clouds break and the sun comes through a little bit and we can see a bit bit more of a perspective of the valley but yeah i read about gorgeous mist drifting through the valleys the sun rising above the hills golden sky didn't quite get that today but nevertheless i still recommend coming up here for sunrise it is a very beautiful spot and i don't know why well, maybe the weather, but I am totally on my own. If you're staying in the center of Bai, it takes about 10 minutes on the bike to get here, pretty easy, but the last bit, maybe the last few minutes of the hill is pretty steep. So make sure, well, one, you're experienced on a bike when you're coming up. Uh, and also your bike is powerful enough to get up. The road isn't bad per se, it just gets a little bit steep. But if you're really worried, I think it costs like 20 to 30 baht from Bai Center if you want to get a taxi and bring yourself up here. And the other thing you have is this large pine tree in the middle, which is a bit like a European Christmas tree, but at the base of it, you have these pendants or ornaments, which again, you can buy from the shop. And people are placing these at the bottom of the tree on hooks and they're writing their names on it. So it must be a good luck symbol for the relationship. But really you're here for the views and trust me, they do not disappoint. Imagine it gets pretty busy up here. Oh, hello. Look at my friend. <laughs> I imagine it gets pretty busy up here, as I was saying, especially on the day where you have the perfect sunrise. But even then, I think the atmosphere will be nice. But because I'm up here on my own, well, apart from with my, with my new friend here, you have the birds, the cockerels crowing, you have the mist rolling through the mountains. Almost the perfect way to start the day here in Pai. Who needs the perfect sunrise? It's so beautiful with this mist drifting through the valley. It clears and then the mist comes back and then it clears and then the mist comes back. What an atmosphere. Right, I'm just coming through the Sichuan Chinese village and you don't feel like you're in Thailand. You do feel like you're in the Chinese countryside, which is interesting. The buildings look a lot more Chinese than Thai, especially the rooftops, maybe less so on these, but wait till we just get round the corner here. You could be in rural China. Even the street signs, they have Chinese first and then they have Thai below. And now, 
we leave through the Chinese dynasty gate as we enter Thailand once again. Grand Canyon, eat your heart out. Welcome to Pai Canyon. Let's go see what this place looks like. Short climb up, I hope. It's starting to get hot now. It's mid-morning and already the temperature is coming right up. Welcome to Pai Canyon. And what a cool place this is. You have the, this red mud cliff, I guess, which the rain, I presume, has eroded away. And it's left these ridges, like fingers out across the green trees, which you can walk across. It looks a little dangerous in parts because, well, the drop-off is pretty steep and actually some of them are quite narrow. But you have, once again in Pai, spectacular views across the mountains, almost well, not almost. It is 360 degree views. Let's go for a walk along the ridges. See what I mean here? <laughs> that it gets a... not scary, I mean, you're walking in the middle of the path, but if it was wet, or you weren't concentrating, you don't really want to fall down there, do you? Okay, some of it is a lot more dangerous than, than the beginning. I don't think I'm going to go down there. I mean, you probably can. It's dry. Maybe we will. We'll come back to that part. Actually, there's me worried about that path, <laughs> thinking I can walk this way and look at this. This literally has eroded away and dropped off. So I think that is the path. Okay, let's tackle it. Better from this side, down this gully, than on the top. But it is a bit slippy. Oh. I think we've made it down safely. This place is so cool. It's one of the main attractions in Pai, and most people come here at sunset, which is understandable given the views, but I do want to show you another place for sunset, and I wanted to film it with less people. But obviously, if you wanted to come here at its best, come here for sunset. much bigger than I expected. It was on quite a long way. I'm trying to think what it is giving me images of. It's like a dragon. This may sound weird, but for me it's like, it's like a dragon is lying down in the forest because you are raised up the trees. You're at canopy level, so you feel like you are on a skywalk. Certainly in the canopy as I say but it feels like a dragon is lying down in the forest and you're walking along the spines and the scales on its back along these ridges but what a view I really don't know how long this place is going to last. 
obviously it's a very unstable place anyway, but you can see the cracks and the splits as the land is breaking away from itself. It just looks like it's ready to slide away and this place will be no more. I'm just trying to work out if I can get, well, I know I can get down there. Down there looks easy. I'm more worried about coming up, but it looks really cool on the other side over here. And it'll be, you can climb all the way back up to another little peak. I would like to do it, but I'm not convinced I can get back up here. Oh wow, that, <laughs> I wasn't expecting that, that. Wow, what a treat. As you come over the brow, and you just get that amazing panoramic view. Wow. I think that's what makes it so impressive. The drops are straight down there, they're sheer cliffs. And it gives that, uh, gives that wow factor when you're walking around. And that's what leaves those small ridges for you to walk across. Okay. Another very narrow ridge. I'm all for taking risks but that just feels stupid. <laughs> I'm on risk mitigation today. And I don't think it's worth it over there. But it, look at it, it's cool. It's cool to see. Let's be honest. My mother watches these videos and she would not be happy if I crossed that part of the ridge. I love the feeling of being at the top of the tree level in the canopy. It's not often that you get that perspective. Normally you're at the bottom of trees looking up, but here we're right at the tops. It is really heating up now. I said it was hot when I got here, or it was getting hot when I got here, but now I don't often sweat like this. I'm pretty good at acclimatizing to the heat or the cold, but <laughs> I'm burning up. So if you're as pale as me, make sure you bring your sun cream, maybe even a hat especially if you're coming mid-morning or later, like I am. But I keep, and I just had a chat to some uh, guys who I met yesterday, I saw them here. They're, well, I thought this was gonna be a bit naff. Okay, Pie Canyon, have a look. It's gonna be small, it's gonna, you know, it's probably oversold because it's a touristy place. But maybe I underestimated it. It's, I really, really, really like it here. It's very, very cool place to come and see. Don't underestimate it like me and don't leave it off your itinerary list for Pi. And one of the beauties about this place is how relaxing the atmosphere is. And you should just sit down and do nothing and have a lazy afternoon. So that's exactly what we're gonna do, but at a really, really special cafe with a fantastic view. Look at this. What a view. Which is the phrase of pie, I think. Cup. <laughs> Can I have um, a Thai milk tea iced, please? Thai milk tea iced. Okay. And why not? Let's have some cookies too. It's normal cookie. Yeah. <laughs> Just checking. Tell you first. Somebody just think like, oh, happy, 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 cookie. happy cookie, and then they complain. Yeah. <laughs> They're not at first, that's why, you know? <laughs> they either they're not happy. 
Are these, oh. the, these are your happy brownies or normal brownies? No, this is normal, but we have two. Ah, I see, I see. Couple. One red bad couple. Nung Roy. Where are you from? UK. UK. Yeah. You? From Bai? i from Bangkok. Ah, okay. But I live here like long time. Long time? Better than Bangkok? Oh, of course. Of course. Oh, I mean, look at this. Look at what I got and look at the Bangkok cat. <laughs> look what the pie have, look what Bangkok has. We lose the tar, but we have a mountain. That's correct. I know where I'd rather be. Just look at this place. As soon as you get off the bike, you have <laughs> that. And it's the same view, I guess, from the uh, canyon, although a bit further over, but you get that incredible panoramic view. I've got myself a, a Thai iced tea, which is needed. As I said, it was incredibly hot. And you have a couple of choices of where you can sit. You can sit upstairs uh, on some swing seats, which are pretty cool. I think I'm going to start off in this hut, in one of the two huts, which obviously gives its name. I'm going to sit on a hammock and relax for the afternoon. Oh, okay, that's good. Is there a better way to spend an afternoon? And with this view, sitting on a hammock, some good music, and my Thai iced tea. I don't think there is. This is what Pai is all about. Obviously the view is fantastic to the mountains and the mountains actually look blue, these dramatic mountains coming out of the countryside but with the haze they have this blue sheen to them, which I'm not quite sure why, but what also makes this interesting, now it is sunny with some nice clouds, but because we are in rainy season, storms keep passing through, so every so often the sky turns very moody and cloudy. You have a big storm and then it passes through back to blue sky, keeps it very interesting. Been so relaxing. I came for a few days and the atmosphere just took me and I've now been here nearly a week if you can believe it and I think the same will probably happen to you. I said at the start when I first got here, or at least I thought at the start, whether it makes it into the video or not, but a walking street is just a touch touristy for me. But once you get away from that street, this place is pretty magical and I think you'll remember this place for a long time when you come here. Good morning. After three days, which turned into one week, it's time to leave Pai. And this place really surprised me. I expected it to be very touristy, overrun with tourists in fact, but somewhere which you had to see because you're in Thailand, but 
not really somewhere I would totally enjoy, but I found this amazing little village surrounded by beautiful countryside with such an amazing vibe and atmosphere here that I just kept extending day by day and it's now been a week so I do need to move on but normally I plan in advance where I'm going to go and it's a symptom I think I've spoken about it before on the channel about my anxiety I want to be in control I want to be planning ahead and have an idea of where I'm going but today I don't know if I'm brave or stupid but I've decided to make no plans I don't know where I'm going I have no accommodation booked we're just going to jump on the bike I'm going to start driving further along the Mei Hong Song loop and we'll see where we get to. But for me, this is a challenge. And I'm serious when I say I haven't booked anywhere. And I know that sounds so trivial as we pass this amazing <laughs> countryside scene. I know it sounds so trivial, but for me, with someone who needs that structure to feel comfortable, it is a big deal. And it's actually the first time I've ever done this. And I half wanted to prove it to myself that I could do it. And I also wanted to show you guys, those of you who suffer like this, to show it can be done, right? And there is a there's a beauty in having some chaos, trying to embrace it. Because whilst planning is good for my head, and it actually helps me get out and do this, I do do some planning in general, much less than I used to. It is a bit of a straitjacket for spontaneity and therefore enjoyment. So it's definitely something I need to work on. Still only about 20 minutes from Pai, we've weaved our way up the hill and I thought I'd just stop because this view shows where we're going, out over these mountains. You can see the road just winding down the mountain and I presume we're going to come back up and down over a lot of them. But what a landscape. You've got the blue hue mountains jutting out of the earth covered in those green trees. How lucky am I? Oh my! That's quite a... That's quite an impressive sight! This road just keeps offering these unbelievable views. I hope I managed to capture them. It was whilst I was riding these roads that I reminded myself how important it is to push yourself out of your comfort zone. And that goes for whether you suffer with anxiety or not. Do not find fulfillment sat in your comfort zone. And so far, I was having a great day. Right, we're going to turn off the loop because I need some coffee. I haven't had one today. So we're going to take this side road, well not really a side road, but we're going to take a road off. Right, made it to the little village and ha, what have we found here? Look at this. Look at this. That is insane. I haven't found the coffee shop yet, though. Of course, it's closed. <laughs> uh, I'll leave the pin in the description because the view is amazing. I'll show you that in a second. Uh, but maybe when you come, it'll be open. So second option is there looked like a good noodle place that I drove past when I was coming to try and find this place. So maybe we'll go there and we'll have a bowl of noodles with the same view. OK, 
Okay, what have I said before about places having silver linings? The coffee shop up the road was closed, but then I've ended up here. And to be honest, I don't even care if the noodles are good. Just look at the view, it's amazing. We've seen some good views on this journey so far, but this might be my favorite yet. And if the food is good, what a bonus. And I managed to get myself some caffeine after all, so tick, 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 tick. When you order your noodles, you often see these little bags of tasty extras that you can buy. In this case, crispy pigskin. And they cost like 10 baht, 15 baht, but definitely do it because it takes them to the next level. I've ordered the dry pork noodles. I didn't fancy something soupy because it's so hot, but you still even get a little bit of the broth on the side. Mm, a bit sweet for me, but uh, we can change that with a bit of the chili vinegar. So I'm glad that I have the soup on the side. Okay, much better after adding the vinegar. So I don't mind adding a little bit of that to the broth, to the noodles. Went for thin rice noodles. I've got cabbage in there, lots of chili. I added some crispy pig skin. Got an egg, which hard boiled, but hey ho. Uh, pork balls, uh, spring onions, and this, whatever sauce they've added to it. Definitely some soy in there. But uh, let's get that mixed up. And it's looking pretty good, just for 40 baht which is an absolute bargain, considering you get to eat it in front of this. <laughs> For some reason, I had no sound on these clips. But anyway, it was time to try the noodles, and I was absolutely starving by this point. So, first a bite, and they were pretty good, I must say. But as always in Thailand, it's worth styling them a little bit. So, definitely need to add some chili. They never quite give you as spicy as you'd like in Thailand uh, because you're a foreigner, of course, and they probably think you can't handle it. So I'm always adding some chili. And then I'm equally always adding a touch of vinegar because things sometimes come a little bit sweet. The chili vinegar balances that out a little bit. After a quick mix, we're good to go. Well, I finished my bowl of noodles pretty quickly, so I'm going to sit here, spend a bit more time enjoying this view before probably moving on. I'm a little bit tempted to see if there's somewhere to stay here for tonight and have this view in the morning. But I think we should move on and continue pushing around the Mayhon Song Loop. But let's see. So I should probably tell you where this place is before I leave. It's in the village of Banjabo. And I would say it's almost a must-see destination when you're on the Meihong Son Loop. It's only five minutes off the main road. Uh, I'll leave the link in the description like the others. But yeah, what a fantastic stop. I said I didn't care if the noodles were good or not, and they were good. Very tasty, very enjoyable. There's a cafe here, also part of the same building so everything you need is in this one although the coffee in the other one just up the road did look good so you can check that out too if you fancy it <sighs> i don't think i'm gonna stay here i'm gonna continue up the road so let's see where we get to I think I found the place that I want to stay, but no one's here. I've sent a message, so fingers crossed there's, there's a room. But look at this, this is, well, unbelievable, insane. What else do you want to say? I 
to stay in one of these. Get the amazing sunset. I can hear people, maybe I'll go down and see. Okay, I found the guy. Thankfully he was here. Uh, and I'm going to stay. I cannot turn down seeing this view. So it's 500 baht or, or 150 baht if you want to camp. But I think having a roof over my head will be a bit more comfortable. It doesn't have aircon, but it does have a fan. Let me show you around. It is very basic, but I don't think you need much more when you have what's in front of you. So yeah, you have a double bed, mosquito net, got a fan, electricity, which is important, a light, the bathroom, very basic, <laughs> you, the uh, bucket and water to, uh, to flush, but there is a toilet and you have a shower too, but this place is not for the room. This place is for this. Now this is breathtaking. And for an extra 100 baht, he will cook some local food. So tonight at seven o'clock, we're gonna have a little meal. I will see you back then. I'm gonna relax for a little bit enjoy this view. Maybe I'll head out and just have a little cycle around these mountains. Rather than sitting down and enjoying the view, I opened my phone to check where we were and I realized Myanmar was only four minutes away. We're right on the border with Myanmar. So I hopped on the bike and started riding down the road towards the border and I got to a army checkpoint. There were two guys there sleeping, woke up and asked me what I was doing. I said, I just want to have a look. So they let me through. And now according to Google Maps, this mountain is in the way and the road wraps round the border and into Myanmar. So, hello from Myanmar. Does it really count as me being in the country? Probably not, but two meters this way, I'm in Thailand. Anyway, for me, it's kind of cool. I thought I'd share it with you. Can you hear? Well, thunder, but the bells you have cattle here being kept under here. Very small cattle, looks like one of the Channel Island cattle in terms of size and stature, but it's definitely not very calmly checking me out. But <laughs> the view from my accommodation is good. There's no denying that. Very happy with that. But let me just show you this. It's the same view, but from a different angle. Look at this. What an incredible sight. Can't say I fancy working on those fields though. Must be, well, they must be very fit. Maybe I need it. Been eating far too much food on this trip. But yeah, guys, come on. Stop that micro planning. Although, if you're planning, add this place to your list. I wasn't even gonna come down this road. I just wanted some coffee. I was just passing through the little village of Ban Mai Lan. Everyone is so friendly, it's such a traditional, well, not traditional, that's the wrong word, an authentic little Thai village. But everyone is smiling and waving as I ride through. And they live in these amazing little traditional houses made from, well, a lot of them just made from natural resources. For me, it's amazing to see. I'm sure they'd prefer to live in more, well, modern style housing, but this is the way they live and it's, it's fascinating, so fascinating. I don't want to film too much, it's not, really, it's not really fair on them. But again, they just live in front of this incredible, incredible view. As you loop around this little village and along this road, you get a different perspective of this same view, but it's no less breathtaking every time you see it. And I just keep stopping and then I just want to show you as an ant eats me. Sorry if you're a bit bored of seeing the same view, but maybe if I'm not bored of it, hopefully you're not bored of it too. Right, I'm back at my accommodation and that was such a fun trip to see. I know there's nothing there, it looks just the same, but to see another country and to cross into another country and go through that very little local village where everyone was so happy, the kids, I didn't get it on camera, but the kids were all coming back from school on a, on a school truck 
and they're all smiling and laughing and waving. It was so, it was so nice. But I got myself a couple of beers to watch the sunset with, and I think it's important, not just to have a beer with the sunset, but it's important to recognize, well, I'm proud of myself today. A few years ago, uh, maybe a few, more than a few years ago, but five years ago, I wouldn't have been able to do that, come out without a plan, and I wanted to challenge myself today, and I did it, and had an incredible day. And it's not over yet, but, I think it's important to remember, be kind to yourself when things don't go to plan or you don't do something because of your anxiety or mental health, whatever it may be, because it's not just about anxiety, right? But then when things go right and you do cope or you do do well, celebrate it. Don't just let it slip past you. You've got to, you've got to be kind on yourself and you've got to be proud of yourself. So here is to that. Hmm. Right, I will see you at sunset, and this time I mean it. By day, this place took my breath away, but in golden hour, the hour before sunset, Wow. And what I didn't realize when I first got here, this, just sit on the camera, this little village is a Lahu village, which is an ethnic group descending from people from China. And I don't know a huge amount about them, but I know it's a very interesting culture. Yeah, this area has a few Lahu towns. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, maybe I will leave some information in the description, but Sometimes, when you're traveling, there are a few moments which are just quite magical and I can't put it into words other than using the same descriptors, but the descriptors don't actually describe it. But the feeling you get, the feeling you get inside, the warmth, the happiness, the gratitude of being right here in this moment, holding a camera, sharing it with you, of course, don't forget that, that cannot be described and this is one of those moments. Can you hear the kids down in the village playing? All you can hear is children playing and the insects. I think tonight is going to be quite loud with the insects. I'm glad. I also have a mosquito net. I think that would be needed. But that's the point of this, coming and getting this experience. Better than a five-star hotel, I think. Or you could have a five-star hotel here, but I don't think it would give the same atmosphere. And you know what guys, I think, I think, and I don't want to curse it, but we're actually going to get a sunset tonight. The last week in Pi, I've missed a sunset, well I haven't missed a sunset, there hasn't been a sunset. The clouds and the thunderstorms come in every single time. But I think tonight, we're gonna to get one. Okay, dinner has arrived, and it's a very simple dinner, but uh, not a problem for me. This kind of fits the setting. And, uh... Nampik! 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 <laughs> Pop -kinka. Doesn't speak a word of English, but we understand what each other is saying. Uh, so I have, looks like a soup with pork and squash. What is this called? <laughs> In Thai, the name? Nam Namprik? Namprik. Kao? Kai. Kai, Kai. Kai. And this guy? Mu. 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 Okay. So it is, it's pork and squash. Looks very nice. Got the chili, 
chili paste nam prik. Na pe mo so. Na pe la hu yin ni. Yeah. And then uh, you've got the omelette and the rice, and let's give that super try first. Mm -hmm. mm, super delicious. Nice kick of spice, not too spicy. Maybe they didn't make it so spicy for me, but. Mm. 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 The soup is delicious, and this for this. Simple egg omelette, and the way they cooked it, I mean, walked in when he was cooking it over the fire on the pan. Very cool. Let's break it up a little bit, get it on that rice. Nice, healthy portion of rice. Obviously, so I was a growing man. And how can you go wrong with omelette and rice with a bit of that chili, chili paste and amperic? Mm. How can you go wrong with omelette and rice? But how can it be so good? The flavor is amazing, light and fluffy omelette, but. You can taste the heat of that wok. Oh. Very, very delicious for something so simple. Yep. Right, guys. I'm going to eat this and enjoy the sunset. I'll leave you guys to it with the sunset. I'll show you some time-lapse footage that I took. I really hope you enjoyed this video and it showed you that pushing your comfort zone and taking a bit of a risk going against what you normally do can sometimes pay off. And genuinely, and I mean it, this day was not planned. Not one minute of this day was planned. And look how it turned out. So I uh, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, like if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next video.